wonder what you could be. Oh, look. I think it's time for an unboxing, Double HD Nation. Double HD Nation. Stand up. Happy Friday. Yes, the weekend is here. Hopefully, you guys have big plans for this weekend. Hopefully, you guys are getting out, going to enjoy the weather wherever you are. Uh, I think it's supposed to be nice here. We've got to do some work outside. We can have the eaves, all that fun stuff. But here, it's going to be like a kind of like a truck Friday. We got this massive bag of Hot Wheels trucks. They're, they're a variety. You got monster trucks and track trucks in there. I'm excited for the track trucks because they will definitely be going on this uh, super six lane speedway. But we also have this other monster box. So I wonder what could be inside here. I mean, I know what it is. What do you guys know? What, what You guys probably know a lot, but what do you guys think it is? So go ahead right now, go drop your comment. Let me know what you think is in this brown eBay box because we are going to start with this the, the bag first. So let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, you guys, we are going to go ahead and start with, this is a Walmart bag, but only Certain trucks came from Walmart, and we will start with the trucks that did not come from Walmart first. Now these monster trucks, I got at the Dollar General. Very cool trucks. I definitely want to add some more monster trucks to my collection, mostly because we will be doing uh, racing on the drag strip. Holy moly, wow, I'm having trouble talking. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get these unboxed, get them open, and showcase for you. So first we're gonna start with chassis snapper looks like a big old snapping turtle here in iowa we have plenty of those and they are terrifying let me tell you that nom, 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 nom. and these things will take a finger clear off not a finger anywho this is from 2019 let's see the box is a little broken what can you expect a dollar general <laughs> but there we go it shows you how you can stack your cars up but let's just look at the back name chassis snapper it is a truck strength steel trap mouth Crash attack is hard shell hit, and the motivation is to always stick its neck out. All right, let's go ahead and crack it open. How are you guys all doing today? Y'all having a good day? Got any plans for the weekend? Here's a little car that comes with it, a little connector car, basically. And then let's take a look at the truck. Now, I will be getting a turntable where I can put the trucks on and the cars on where it just spins around and I can talk to you guys without having to hold it. But anywho, but I just love these monster uh, uh, these monster trucks and I just, the paint schemes are so nice. Very cool, love the wheels too, the yellow with the green outline. Very nice. Got the engine, uh, engine back there. I don't know what I was gonna say there, but looks like an old Chevy, pretty cool. All right, we'll go ahead and throw him right back there. Go ahead and get out another one. Now, of course, you do have new for 2020, the Bone Shaker, of course. They had to make Bone Shaker into a monster truck. I mean, why not? Now, this one comes with a crushable car instead of a stackable car. Bone Shaker, he's a hot rod, skull grinding grill. <laughs> Crash attack, skull smack down. Oh my God. But <laughs> motivation to always leave them <laughs> rattled. Oh my god. That's enough of that. As you guys do know, we do have the twin mill. It came with that awesome monster truck track. Maybe we'll have to do some more testing of that track coming up soon, too. Well, of course, I have a terrible rip job. There we go. Go ahead and get him out. Put the trash off to the side. Of course, there's that smashable car that comes with it but we don't need that but let's just take a gander to look at the bone shaker i do like the the, the matte black they went with I, very nice and i actually kind of really like this i'm not a huge bone shaker fan i mean i love them for the track but i just never got on that bandwagon like everyone else did and he's been around for quite some time very good looking truck. All right, I think we got four more of those. Three more, two more, geez. Where did you learn to count? Next up, we have a new for 2019. Necessary roughness, necessary roughness, all right. 
So this is supposed to be like the Loch Ness Monster, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. All right, there. Loch Ness Scotland. Very cool. Let's see what the stats are. Necessary roughness is a pick up extra long neck, sink or swim to scare every truck around. Oh, that one opened pretty easy. Cool. Now this comes with a stackable car. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the little paint job. Wow. I've always been fascinated with the Loch Ness Monster. I always thought he, she, it was just really cool. Very nice paint scheme. Look at that. That looks great. Wow. But yeah, it's just been one of those cryptid things uh, that I thought was really cool. You guys have a favorite uh, cryptid monster? Let me know in the comments down below. I was watching one last night. It was called uh, Siren Head. Oh my gosh, it was so dumb. <laughs> I felt. I think I lost brain cells watching. Anyway, back to the video. We're looking at this beautiful Necessary Roughness truck. Just absolutely incredible. I love it. And I think we got one more. We do. Even. And we do have another new for 2020. This is one bad ghoul. Heck yeah. Look at those purple wheels, you guys. So nice. Now, all these monster trucks came from Dollar General. I can't remember if I said that or not. Uh, and this one includes a crushable car. Hmm. All right, one bad ghoul. An SUV, ghoulish grab, skull shoveler to goblin. <laughs> Upland them all away. No, no more. No more of that. Okay. Yo, no, you guys about tipped over. What are you guys doing? All right, of course, it comes with the crushable car. Yay. I mean, I, I understand those are for kids. So it, uh, uh, yeah. Anywho, look at this. Woo! Man, this is a good looking truck. Look at those purple wheels. My God. By God. Got the skull shovels right there. Look at the red windows too, that's nice. Nice touch. Wait, are they? Oh yeah, look at this. See, they got a gentleman ghoul right there on that side. They also have a lady ghoul on that side, on the other side. Now that's good detail. All right, that's pretty sweet. Oh, man, those wheels are sick. You can kind of see through them. I can kind of see my finger right back there. Nice. Now that's a that's a nice truck. That's a nice truck. All right, those were the four monster trucks. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. What they like to call tracking trucks, track trucks. These are great for Hot Wheels tracks. I mean, as you can see, you can have them going through a loop. Whether they can actually do that or not, we'll find out. I don't know. I doubt they'll go through a booster. I mean, it doesn't hurt us from trying, does it? But anyway, we will start with Turbo Beast. Very awesome looking truck. Look at all those turbos up there. Four massive turbos. Nice livery. See, it has it going down kind of like a gravity drop here. Then it has it going through a loop. These are copywritten, copywritten for 2019, so what does that mean, you guys? Yeah, exactly. All right, so we will go ahead and get it cracked open. All right. That bends nicely. Hmm. wonder if you could actually put a car on the back. Let's find out. Let's get, uh, the Mer Let's get this little Mercedes over here. Oh, okay, car does fit if it's small enough. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, let's just look at this. As you guys can see, the windows are chrome because this part right here is the same piece as that, same as the stacks. Man, this good looking truck. Does this come apart? It does. Oh, cool. You can just send the trucks down. But yes, you guys, we will be having. A king of the hill with these guys since there are six of them it can just be like a one a one-off yeah I like that guy that's cool all right 
five more to go. Next up, we have a very popular one, which is the custom Volkswagen Hauler. Again, great for track. Shows the same things on the back. Copyright in 2019. Oh. <clears throat> See now, that one had eight wheels. This one only has six wheels. Very good detailing on that Volkswagen uh, cab over. Very nice. As you can see, the front is curved where it can go through a loop. And as you guys can see, definitely a lot of play right there for it to go through some loops and maybe some turns. Got the nice Hot Wheels deco on the hauler. Now, no, I don't think you can get a car in there. Maybe you can throw a bike in there, but I wouldn't do that either. So I got some coffee pots, a sink. And look at this. Look at that detailing right there. It's a little Volkswagen bug. <laughs> That's awesome. A little uh, remote control Volkswagen bug. That's so cool. I love it when they pay attention to detail like that. Maybe this can, does this come off? Looks like it may be able to come open. My fingernails aren't long enough. I'm not about to tear a nail. Very good looking truck. I love these wheels too, these disc uh, rims. So nice. Let's see, they got the door on this side. No door on that side. See, that's just paying attention to detail. That's, I love it when companies do that. So good job, Hot Wheels. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, also these track trucks, they rain, they are, let me look, let me look, let me look. They are $3.97 a piece. Figured I'd let you guys know that. Ooh, burp, excuse me. Next up, <laughs> we have Speed Hauler. We just went from eight wheels to six wheels to 10 wheels. So we're jumping all over the place here. Again, copywritten 2019. Go ahead and get you on out. Oh yeah. I mean, look how, look how tiny, how tiny that trailer is. But man, I, see green's like my favorite color. So I love this color. You guys got you got 1968 on there if you guys know what the, the 68 stands for drop your comment now I'm curious to know what you guys think it stands for I know what it is but I'm not gonna tell you yeah look at this beautiful truck love the gold wheels love that that uh, this come apart I have a feeling this opens this feels like it opens this feels like it opens yeah, see, because it, it it has to, doesn't it? Where you can put a car in there or something. Oh. Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. And take one side off. Let me get, I need that Mercedes again. Actually, not better yet. Let's get this Impala. Oh, you can barely fit. You can fit. Skinny thoughts. Skinny thoughts. Oh no, dang. Okay, let me get the Mercedes. Oh yeah, and you can fit a little car in there. Ain't that something. Maybe. Oh, it's a tight It's a tight fit. It's going to. So you can get a small car in there. But uh, like I said, it is a tight fit. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. No, no, it may be stuck in there. No, oh, there we go. Okay. Oof. So I mean, that's pretty cool how they can make it where you can get like a kind of like a smaller car in there, give it some weight. But I mean, these aren't actual haulers like you can find. These are way smaller than a hauler. All right, moving on. Spend enough time on that one. All right, next up you have Caged Cargo. I love me some cab overs. Copywritten 2019. Oh yeah, this thing is wicked. Look at that, That it just looks angry. Mmm, I'm angry. Mac, Mac, Mama Peter built for dang sake. Oh geez. So again, we have eight wheels up on this bad boy. It's a metal base, that's, that's cold. It startled me at first. 
Does it have the name on the bottom? It does have the name on the bottom. On both of them? Yep, it does. So does this lift up then? Oh, it does. So again, you probably get a small car in there. Or an animal, an ominal. I love that deco. Gives it off a Suicide Squad looking decoration, but you know, that movie's neither here nor there. I like it. Two more. Next up we have Aero Blast. Back down to six wheels. Oh wow, that one's definitely got some weight to him. It's probably the heaviest one I've felt so far out of all of them. But look at that front end. That thing is sweet. Wow. Very futuristic. Again, we got the 68 on the side. Very nice. Does it open? Ooh, it does open. You can put a little tiny car on there. Real low, well, real low car. That's a... Get the Corvette in there. Yeah, it barely fits. Close. Bye bye. See you later. Very nice. I like how they're putting the 68 on him, on everything. Yeah, man, this one's this one's got some weight. Look at that metal base. Very cool. And then there was one. Here we got Racing Convoy. Oh, geez. Face plant. This one, we got eight wheels again. Has those five star wheels. Wow, very nice looking truck. I love cab overs. I think I've already said that. <laughs> I mean, look at the play on this trailer. This thing is going to do great. I really can't wait to see how it does in a, in a curve. I mean, not a curve, a loop. It's going to be interesting. I mean, they do have... All of them I've seen have the curved front end. You get a car on here. Uh, yeah, you can get a car on there. Uh, very cool. That old bases on all of them. Can't really say I'm a huge fan of the yellow and black, but I, I can live with it. Let's go ahead and look at the bed. Campbell, Newar, Aust Austin Dorf, Sharpio. I'm guessing those are Hot Wheels designers. That would be my guess. All right. So there you have it, guys. You got some track trucks here. That's a couple monster trucks, but oh, we are forgetting one more. Yes, we have one more item to go over. Do you guys drop your comments and let me know what you thought this was? I don't care to know what you guys thought. And you guys, some of you guys probably cheated and skipped ahead just to see what it was. But remember, cheaters get nowhere in life. All right, here we go. Yes, now this item is really, really hard to find, you guys. Yes. I am so happy to have this in my collection. We have the Bigfoot monster truck from Hot Wheels. Now this is basically the one, would this be a 124 scale? Let me look. I think this is maybe a 124. I'm gonna call it a 124 scale. But this, when this released, it was gone like that. Because Bigfoot is so iconic in the monster truck world. He is the very first monster truck. I mean, just look, I am so, oof, I'm so happy to have this in my collection. This thing is just so radical. I don't know if I'll be taking it out of the box like I really want to. But then again, <clears throat> sorry about that. But then again, I kind of just want to keep it in the box. Now, I paid a pretty all right price for this. This was only $27 with shipping. So, it, it, and it's from the same guy I got the mystery eBay boxes from. 
So, so I, I figured it's a pretty fair price because you can't find this anywhere. I've never seen it in stores ever. If you guys have, then good for you. <laughs> but I have not, like anywhere in my state, at all. <laughs> but yeah, just this is just such a beautiful truck. And I love it. Let's put him right there. And let's just get a standard monster truck. They're practically just as big as one of his wheels. <laughs> so this is 164 scale sets. <clears throat> Holy moly, I'm sorry. I mean to cough on you. No, I don't have the Corona. But yeah, just the sheer magnitude. Like, the camera does not do this thing justice on how big it is. Oh, do I want to open it or not? Uh, I don't think I can. I can't. No, it's just gonna stay there. Anywho, we'll go ahead and look at the back. Bigfoot's pickup, car crushing shocks, original stomp, and to always be groundbreaking. As you can see, they got three other models out there that come in this giant size. This is copywritten for 2019. So yeah, do you guys have a Bigfoot in your collection? Doesn't have to be this one, it could be any Bigfoot. That's it, you guys. That was today's little unboxing of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and Hot Wheels Trek Trucks and that beautiful Bigfoot. All right, it's time to wrap up today's video. And there you have it, Double HD Nation. Another video is in the books. So this time, little monster truck, track truck, and Bigfoot unboxing. Ah, I like this truck a lot. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the content, go ahead and smash that like button. That lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy the content and you want to see more of it. This is Hockey Holler Diecast where we review, showcase Hot Wheels cars, Hot Wheels tracks. We've got NASCAR diecast in the back. We do King of the Hills, Race Wars. we got monstrosities every Sunday. So hopefully you guys are into that kind of content. And if you are, make sure you are subscribed and have that bell rung because you never want to miss, you never want to miss, you never want to miss a single update because... I mean, it's pretty good stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> Sorry, I was watching people walk by, they were watching me. I still haven't got over that hump yet. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, you guys, if you guys want to really help out, go ahead and share these videos. That gets me out there just a wee bit more. And I gratefully, gr gratefully. One minute. <sighs> and I greatly appreciate you guys for that. So with that being said, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. I'll probably put up a small video tomorrow for a buffer for you guys to just get your toes wet for this weekend's monstrosity. Again, uh, like I said, I got stuff to do tomorrow, so we probably won't be doing an outdoor track, but uh, never know. But anyway, you guys, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Drop your comments, drop your likes, drop your subscribes and bell ringing all that fun stuff. Also, if you guys have a Discord, we do have a Discord now. That link is down in this, the description if you want to check it out. Uh, it's always great having new people coming to the Discord. So yeah, but uh, I need to stop rambling. I'll see you guys all next time here at The Holler. Peace.